If you want to get an idea of how planet Earth behaves during a mass extinction event, you don't even need to travel through time or delve into complex theories. Just look out the window, observe the urban or rural landscape around you, and understand that we are living through a silent but devastating transformation. Forests are being decimated, oceans are acidifying, and species are disappearing before they are even catalogued. This documentary will take you on a journey through the ages, revisiting critical moments in the history of life, so that we can understand the present more clearly and perhaps, who knows, change the course we are on. We will explore the five major extinctions that shape the planet's biodiversity, as well as other equally intense transitions, and see what is happening today from a new perspective. Prepare to travel through more than 4.7 billion years, to witness almost unimaginable biological tragedies, such as the first major extinction caused by primitive microorganisms, the period when oxygen poisoned the atmosphere and froze the earth, or the emergence of bizarre beings in the depths of anoxic oceans, which paved the way for the diversity we know today. We will explore how the first adventurers tried to invade the terrestrial environment and almost failed, learn about the event that eliminated almost all marine life, witness the extraterrestrial impact that exterminated dinosaurs, and the silent collapse of the megafauna of the last ice age. Each event will tell us something essential, life is incredibly resilient, but also extremely fragile. It all begins in the so-called Hadean period, a time when the newly formed Earth was an inhospitable and seeding place. It was in this hostile environment that the first signs of life emerged, most likely in the depths of the primitive oceans, around hydrothermal vents rich in minerals. Imagine bubbles of fat floating in dark waters, encapsulating organic compounds that, in some mysterious way, gave rise to the first organized forms. These prototypes of life, known as protocells, could hardly be called living beings, but they already carried the potential for the incredible diversity that would come later. It didn't take long for the first prokaryotic organisms, simple and robust beings, to spread through the seas, shaping the planet's chemical environment. And it is here that we find the first mass extinction, these microorganisms modified the composition of the oceans and the atmosphere so much that they probably destroyed their own ancestors, the more fragile protobionts. This silent event eliminated much of the most rudimentary life forms and inaugurated the age of bacteria, a phase that lasted an incredible 3.9 billion years, an eternity compared to human history. During much of this period, the Earth was a planet without fire, without plants, without animals, and with greenish-gray seas, full of iron and photosynthetic bacteria that, in the absence of oxygen, produced compounds such as hydrogen sulfide. The sky had strange colors, ranging from beige to violet, and the atmosphere was full of toxic gases. There was no fire because there was not enough oxygen to fuel a simple combustion. In this bizarre scenario, cyanobacteria emerged, revolutionary beings capable of performing photosynthesis, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. They began to transform the planet into something radically different. By first saturating the oceans and then the atmosphere with oxygen, these bacteria triggered the first major global ecological catastrophe, the oxygenation event that resulted in the Sturtian glaciation, freezing almost the entire planet, from the poles to the equatorial regions. It was the first time that the Earth literally turned into a snowball, a hostile environment that lasted hundreds of millions of years, completely redefining the course of evolution. When greenhouse gases accumulated again in the atmosphere and melted the ice, the planet was ready for the next stage, the rise of complex life. With the end of the first global ice age, space opened up for an unprecedented biological revolution. During the Proterozoic Eon, the first eukaryotic cells emerged, organisms with organized nuclei and more complex internal structures. These pioneers of multicellular life spent millions of years dominating marine environments and diversifying slowly, until, 
about 630 million years ago, the most intriguing life forms on our planet emerged, the organisms of the Ediacaran period. Imagine flat creatures, with soft bodies, some reaching almost 2 meters in length, floating gently on the seabed like leaves in the wind, without eyes, without mouths, just absorbing nutrients directly from the water. A true underwater garden of alien forms. But this ephemeral paradise would be abruptly interrupted. In an interval of a few million years, a series of geological and chemical transformations drastically changed the oceans, leading to the almost complete extinction of these life forms and opening space for something much fiercer and more dynamic, the Cambrian Explosion. During the Cambrian Explosion, approximately 500 million years ago, the world experienced an unprecedented diversification of life. Armored creatures, predators with sharp jaws, animals capable of swimming with dexterity emerged to dominate the seas. Life became a microscopic and brutal battlefield. The first giant arthropods, distant ancestors of our current insects and crustaceans, emerged as the main predators of the oceans. Among them, species like Opabinia, with five eyes and a bizarre trunk, show us how the creativity of evolution knew no limits. Meanwhile, the first timid vertebrates, creatures similar to small eels, barely dared to leave their hiding places. The Ordovician, which succeeded the Cambrian, witnessed even more diversity, ancestral coral reefs, large marine filter feeders, and the first attempts at life out of the water. However, this explosion of life was brutally interrupted. About 460 million years ago, a sudden global glaciation, possibly caused by an explosion of distant supernovas that reduced the planet's temperature, resulted in the first of the recognized major extinctions, 85% of marine life was decimated in a few millennia. Even after this catastrophic event, life demonstrated its incredible ability to recover. At the end of the Devonian period, approximately 355 million years ago, fish had become the absolute lords of the seas, and some of them began to explore dry land. Animals like Ichthyostega and their relatives, true pioneers of the terrestrial environment, attempted the difficult adaptation to the new world. However, another tragedy struck, a lethal combination of climate change, proliferation of terrestrial plants, and a drop in oxygen levels generated a series of anoxic events in the oceans, eliminating more than 70% of marine life and almost all the first amphibians. Once again, the Earth saw its biodiversity plummet. But, as always, life found loopholes to persist. From the few survivors, the ancestors of reptiles, and later, mammals and birds, would emerge. Glowing star if you're enjoying this journey through Earth's extinctions, how about joining us on this mission to understand the past to change the future? Subscribe to the channel right now and activate the bell so you don't miss the next chapters of this epic story. And while you're at it, comment below, if you could personally witness one of these ancient eras, which one would you choose and why? Let's create an incredible conversation here in the comments. Rocket Sparkles As time advanced to about 290 million years ago, the Earth had transformed again. In the immense supercontinent Pangaea, vast deserts spread under a dry and rigorous climate. It was in this challenging scenario that the amniotes, our distant ancestors, prospered. They developed resistant eggs, capable of withstanding arid environments, and dominated the continents. Among these creatures emerged the first large herbivores and terrestrial predators, robust synapsids of all sizes, with formidable fangs and varied habits. The planet finally seemed stable for complex life to flourish, but stability was just an illusion. A gigantic geological event, involving colossal volcanic eruptions in the region of present-day Siberia, released colossal amounts of toxic gases into the atmosphere, triggering the greenhouse effect at levels never seen before. Uncontrolled warming, 
the collapse of terrestrial and marine ecosystems, ocean acidification, and the release of methane from the subsoil created a perfect storm. The Great Dying, as this extinction that occurred approximately 248 million years ago is called, eliminated no less than 96% of all living species of the time. The Earth became a ghost world, almost completely sterile. Recovery was slow and painful. For millions of years, small and resistant life forms dominated the environments, trying to rebuild fragile ecosystems. Only much later would the first dinosaurs emerge in the Triassic period, creatures that would soon become the dominant species on the planet. For about 150 million years, the dinosaurs ruled the Earth with mastery, adapting to a huge variety of ecological niches. But their reign would also come to an abrupt end. Approximately 63 million years ago, a colossal asteroid impacted the region that is now the Yucatan Peninsula, in Mexico, releasing energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. The dust released into the atmosphere blocked sunlight, froze the planet, and destroyed food chains. More than 75% of all species were extinct, including non-avian dinosaurs. Under the rubble of this catastrophe, small mammals found their opportunity and began their journey of domination, which would culminate in the emergence of humanity. Now, for the first time in the planet's history, a species, ours, has become capable of causing a mass extinction event on a global scale. Unlike the great natural catastrophes of the past, our contribution is slow, but devastating. We fragment habitats, contaminate oceans, alter the climate, and eliminate species faster than we can catalog them. The signs are everywhere, but there is still hope. If we can act in time, protecting what remains and regenerating what has been damaged, perhaps we can change the destiny we seem to be writing. After all, the Earth has always survived, the question is, will we survive together? Fire if you've made it this far, it's a sign that you also care about the future of our planet. So take advantage now, subscribe to the channel, come be part of our community of explorers of history and life. Flying Saucer And more, tell us in the comments what was the most surprising moment for you in this video and what you learned new today. Let's exchange ideas, grow together, and strengthen this community that believes in change. Sparkles Globe Showing Americas